Earlier this month, Francesco Ventrilia hopped on a plane and left the rolling hills of Italy's Tuscany region for the colder climes of Calgary. And why would he leave Tuscany for Calgary in the middle of winter? Well, for a very good reason, it turns out. <laughs> Francesco is the new artistic director of Alberta Ballet, and his resume is very impressive. Uh, he's a classical, a contemporary ballet choreographer whose works have been performed by such companies as Moscow's Bolshoi Theatre, Milan's La Scala Ballet, Royal New Zealand Ballet, and the National Ballet of Uruguay. I am very pleased to welcome Francesco Ventrilia to CKUA this afternoon. Hello, Francesco. Hello. Thank you so much for your invitation. Yes, I, well, I'm glad you could join us today. Uh, first off, how was it for you to go from you know fairly mild temperatures in Italy to an Arctic polar vortex of minus 40? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, my welcome to Canada was exactly minus 40. Oh, dear. Um, it was a little bit shocking, but I have to say I'm, I'm, I'm always very positive. And then I have to say that the first day in the office was amazing because I have a very lovely little window and I could see outside that these trees all white and beautiful squirrel goes from one branch to another. And so it was actually very poetic. Oh, nice, nice. You know, the trick is, it's just layers, lots of, you know, clothing. You have to have good clothing for winter. <laughs> I'm learning that. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, first, a little background. Uh, wh- how did you first get into dance? Oh, my God. I was seven years old. And um, in Italy, Saturday night, when I was a little boy, it was the big show with a lot of dancing. So I was the one always dancing in front of the television for the entire family. And then um, I asked as a present to go to the ballet school and then my parents follow my passion and supported me and then um at the age of 11 i went into um, la scala ballet school and i started my professional career oh great great so it's been uh, a passion of yours for a long time now ah yes 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 i'm 45 now and so then after like a 20 years in the in la scala ballet company i you know i started to be a choreographer and things moved quite positively for me. And then I was invited in in famous theaters to create and my ballet were very well appreciated. And then at the age of 31, I was appointed artistic director for the Florence Opera House. And there my life changed again, because I moved from the the stage to the uh, the leadership. Mm -hmm. And I really appreciated the new role. And then, you know, I started to discover what was on the other side of the stage. Had you heard of Alberta Ballet before their search for a new artistic director? I did, actually, for many years, because finally enough, um, when I was 19, immediately after the graduation of La Scala Ballet School in Milano, I was chosen by a Canadian choreographer called Jean Gramet Mm -hmm. to dance one of his ballet. So my predecessor here was the first choreographer I danced as a professional ballet dancer at La Scala. And then, you know, life is a circle. And today I'm... I'm here directing a company that he did successfully direct for 20 years. Yeah, so, yeah. What made you think that this position would be something that you'd like to take on? Look, um, in the last 12 years of my life and career, I moved a lot of, across the entire world. And I had a, a lot of experience, something very positive, some other experience less positive. But overall, the big picture is that today at the age of 45, I think I'm ready to be the leader I always wanted to be. It doesn't exist a leadership school for this um, job. You need to go through experience, you need to learning by doing. And I think I've done a lot and today I feel ready. So then when I saw the advertising and then Alberta Ballet was looking for a new director, I, I felt ready to be the leader. And I found the company very attractive because they have a, you know, the company has these gorgeous dances. Um, There is a ballet school, it's an amazing organization. So then I thought it could be a great place to grow some, some great project for the future. Now in February, Alberta Ballet is holding its winter gala in Calgary and Edmonton. What have you been putting together for this event? Look, this is an event that I hope in the future can become an annual tradition for our organization. It's a night, is a one night only where the school and the company join force together in one show. And then we have this defile from 100 students from our school. And then they pass 
uh, the stage to our principal and soloist dancers in the company. Then they go into this extravaganza of the most beautiful classical repertoire from Don Quixote to Swan Lake to um, Flower Festival. Um, I've decided to start from there because my artistic vision, it will be to build this new chapter with Alberta Ballet. It would be very much a journey then embrace the past to build the future. So I want to embrace not only the amazing past of the Alberta Ballet, but equally the past of the more wider classical repertoire to bring the company towards the future and arrive to 20th century choreographers and the choreographers of today, the new voices of today. And my dream is very much to build an, a very unique and recognizable DNA that can make, make the brand of Alberta Ballet extremely recognizable, not only in Alberta, but worldwide. I want to create a, a, a repertoire that is ours and is um, Alberta Ballet made. Right. Well, lastly, uh, I mentioned in the intro that you've choreographed works for companies around the world, uh, Russia, uh, New Zealand, Uruguay. They are all very different places, but the language of dance transcends borders. Uh, why do you think that is? Well, that's the beauty of our art form, right? We don't have any passport on stage. We don't have any, um, you know, any, any, I don't know how to explain. I mean, on stage, everything can happen. And this is an art form that can talk to every single one. Um, doesn't matter your background, your culture, your religion. Beauty is beauty. And when it is perfectly done, um, it can be a safe place for everyone. And I think that's exactly what I want to do um, in my life. I want to create places Then they are the escape safe places for people Then they need two hours to escape from their life mm -hmm. <laughs> um, is a fairy tale is, is, is a contemporary tale is a new story is an old story. Beauty is beauty. And um, what do we want to do at the Alberta Ballet is to forge this beauty through towards excellency for our public, for our community. We want to talk with the kids. We want to talk with the elderly. We want to talk with the cool people. We want to talk to everyone. Like we want to engage more with our public because for us at the Alberta Ballet, public is not just a box office number. For us, they're not just people that buy the tickets. They are, they are the people um, that we do this hard work for. Like we open the curtain for them. We forge our dances, our our excellency as an organization, as an as an art form producer for them. So community is really important for us, and we want to keep talking to them. Great. Well, thank you very much, Francesco, for telling us a bit about yourself and your vision for Alberta Ballet. Thank you so much. And congratulations. I, I hope to see you at the theater for the Winter Gala. That was Francesco Ventrilia, the new artistic director of Alberta Ballet. Alberta Ballet's Winter Gala takes place February 15th at the Jubilee Auditorium in Calgary and February 24th at the Jubilee in Edmonton. For tickets and more information, go to albertaballet.com.